Hello and welcome to a very short update video on the uh, Pegasus Astro Ultimate Powerbox. Now the reason I wanted to make this video is that Pegasus Astro have recently released two versions of software, 1.4.8 and 1.4.9. Um, the version 9 is actually the same as version 8 but with a, a bug fix. So what we'll do is we'll look over the changelog for version 8 because that's what encompasses the changes that I want to discuss and then you can just download version 9 because that has a, a bug fix in as well. Um, now the reason I wanted to go over these this particular uh, change with you is there's two significant changes in it. Number one being the fact that we can now have four profiles uh, for four different um, software uh, hardware setups that you may have. And number two, the big one for me, is we now have focus... Uh, um, internal and external limits. We we had the external limit before, we now have the internal limits. So I want to run over those two things and how to set them up and so on. So firstly, um, if we just open up the power box, as usual, uh, you can check from within the software whether there is uh, any new versions out, but you then need to log on to the Pegasus Astro website to download that, install it, and it will overwrite the previous version. So for this um, little video, we're going to have a look in the about box. We're going to look at the change log. So we can see in version 1.4.8, we've got now four profiles and we also have the motor inner and outer limit position. There was a small um, bug that I found in version 1.4.8, so that was actually uh, changed. There's also a, a small change of the text on the motor rates. Uh, they've changed that to presets. So we'll just have a quick look at that anyway and then some stability changes. So if we just have a look now at the focuser, you'll see the move steps here. The On the move steps, as I've shown you in previous videos, they're presets for the amount of steps that you can just move with a one-click button. That information in those boxes there comes from the settings tab in the motor step presets. This used to be called motor step rates and then rate one, rate two. Well, you know, for me, rates is more synonymous with speed and they're not speeds, they're, they're actual presets. Uh, so the guys have changed that now. Um, so it's more um, in keeping with what they actually do. They're actually presets. You change them in here and when you go to the focus panel, that's brought forward to here. So the other main thing I want to look at, firstly, uh, obviously we're going to look at the four profiles and then we'll look at the focuser. So as with the um, second profile on the previous version, you can just right click on your main icon on the desktop, click copy, click anywhere else in the desktop, click paste, and then that gives you uh, a copy icon. Now we can have four, you can just re-click again, paste again, and paste again and we've now got four icons. Now you'll remember from the previous version if you right click and then go to properties go to the very end hit space second enter you now double click on that and you have your second profile. Well what we can do now is if we do the third one again properties all the way to the end space now type in third and then on this one, properties, all the way to the end space, type in fourth. You'll see now if I open this up, you have fourth. And if I open the other one here, I have third. So we can now have our four completely separate profiles. What you'll probably want to do uh, is to rename them. So uh, UPB, uh, this will maybe be my Esprit. 100 and this one perhaps will be UPB um, TAC 106 and so on. You, you can have um, rename them whatever you want and then if, when you click on that it will just come up with a second profile. So that's a great feature. I'm, I'm really pleased that I've actually done that because all your focus are information and um, whether you want to um, power ons and so on from um, you know when you turn the power on you want the outputs on and so on is all saved in those individual profiles um, so that's that 
we can delete those. I only use the one profile anyway. Um, so I can actually just call that UPB. So now if we double click on this and open it and connect and we'll have a look at the focuser. So you see my focuser um, has pulled off a position that is currently at, which is 17615, which is my in-focus position from the last imaging run that I'd, I'd done. Now what I would say, if you've got a short focuser in particular, so for example on my FSQ106, it only has 35 mil of travel. It's a very short focuser travel. I would say measure it. Measure how far your focuser travels in particular, if you want to have the inner limit all the way in and then the outer limit all the way out. So you you can run the focuser through its full extent of travel if you, you wish to. Um, measure your focuser travel physically so that you know uh, how far out to come. Once you've got that, let's... Um, I mean, I know that this is my focuser position at the moment. This is on my Esprit 100, which is quite a long travel focuser. Um, you could use the move steps you can change this to one or you can uh, drop individual steps in you can drive the focuser all the way to the in position but obviously leave it a couple of millimeters short don't drive it all the way to the in position so if you want to you can change your move steps this uh, set preset one you can actually change that if you want to one step Click save. Uh, so when you go back to the focus, so you can see just one. So I'm on 17.615. If I click one, it will go into 17.614. So you can get it just in to about two millimeters short of your fully closed position. Once you're in that position, you can then just click new position zero and then click set. And it will change this position to zero. And then you're in a position on your um, inner limit here. These are normally set on zero, by the way. So I'll just put that, get that. This is normally how it would be by default. So what you can do then is that position can now be zero. So your new position will be zero. That will change this position up here. So once you click on zero, click set, it will change this to zero. And your inner limit is then set to zero. Well, for me, as I just said, my actual position that I know I'm in focus is 17615. Well, I don't need to go all the way into zero. I know I'm never going to go there. So what I'm going to do is my inner position limit, I'm actually going to set to 17,000. Because that's as far in as I'm ever going to go. I'm never going to go that far out of focus. Now, if you've got your inner limit set to zero, you now need to go all the way out to the full extent of your um, your focuser. Now again, you can do that by the presets. You can just click preset. You can change that one to 400, 600, 1000 if you want, and then go all the way out to your just short of your fully open position. And then you read the position information from here again, and you put that information into your outer limit. Now let's assume yours is 10,000. You've gone out 10,000. You'll put the outer limit at 10,000. Well, I know whilst mine will go past 18,000, I'm never going to go past that point again. So I'm actually going to put in my outer limit 18,000. Um, yours may be, as I say, 10,000, whatever your, your actual physical travel is. So once you've got those two positions there, you're probably going to have zero and another random figure, 10,000, whatever it is. Click position limit on and that's it. Your limits are now set. So if I try to do a go to, for example, if I try to go to 18,001, oh, I'll try again. If I try to go to 18, Let's click that. If I try to go to 18,001, you'll see it exceeds the outer limit. I can't go to that. I can't go to that outer limit. If I go to 
18,000, I'll go there. That's it. So I'm at 18,000. If I try to move one more step, no, nope, it's not having any of it. And likewise, if I try to go to, if I delete that, try to go to uh, 17,000, and then click go, it will go there. No issues at all. But again, if I try to go minus 50, I exceed the inner limit. But I can go back to my original 17, uh, 615. Go, and I'll go there. And that's it. That's the limits set using these boxes here, using the information that you pull off from the current position. If you need to go past the position that you want to, you can, of course, just disable this. I can do a go to and go to, say, uh, 16,800. And it will go there because the limit position, the limit switch is off. So I've gone now all the way to 16,800. Um, I can now, if I go back to my 17,615, go. And when I'm there, reset my position limits, and that's it. I'm, uh, I'm fully there. This will happen on the work on the go to's as well if I try to do a go to. So you'll see I went to the 200, that takes me past my outer limit. So it works perfectly, I've tried it in all instances, tried it with SGP, works great. Uh, it's a really good addition, I think both editions that they've done on this, uh, this version are really good. It's great that the guys listen, they take on board um, what people are, are asking for and um, get it implemented. So hopefully it's been a helpful video and I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye.